guess what, everybody? Anchor announced a collaboration with Spotify. Now I can put music like Eminem and all my other favorite artists like Jay-Z, Rihanna, and all these different artists in my podcast just like a real pre-recorded radio show. I'm so excited. Thank you, Anchor. And also, that means that it's going to be in my Apple podcast as well. Thank you so much, Anchor. Music is my medicine. It gets me high. It lifts me up. It gets me through every bad thing in life. It gets me through my running in the morning, training for the LA Marathon. And I recently got my first pair of beats. I will never, ever forget that. It was one of the greatest feelings in my life. And even though they were used, but they came from a friend. So that made it even more, it was very special. And I was so happy to get my beats. And I was like, oh man, I had to go look at prices because I'm like, I need to start saving now in case I need a new pair, you know? And in case these ones, you know, these ones are going to break eventually. Something's going to happen, you know, being outside and building your business and carrying all this stuff, something's going to happen. But thank God, man, COVID-19 has been rough, but my beats are getting me through. I love my freaking beats. Like, you know, I love Dr. Dre. Oh, so many people that he's... Eminem is like one of my favorite all-time rappers. Actually, one of my fav- favorite all-time artists because he's just so real and raw and he tells my story so much. But, you know, it's just when I... <laughs> it's like the first thing I do when I get up, I can't do it. But the first thing I want to do is put on my beats. That's the first thing I look for. Okay, where's my beats? Oh, thank God they're here, you know. And it was like... I never wanted to, and I guess I didn't feel worthy of buying my own beats. I never wanted to invest in something. I was afraid I would get addicted to it. I was afraid that it would be so good. In a way, yeah, I just didn't feel worthy. You know, I didn't feel worthy, but I also, the main reason was even when I did feel worthy, I didn't feel competent. I didn't feel competent of taking care of them, you know, Homelessness knocks you down, and especially as a woman, because men will try to, you know, solicit you for sex and and things like that, and people, but in this world, you know, people will bring you down any chance they get, because that's, they feel low, and that's just the way that people think that they should operate, and that's why I'm here, to change to change the way people act, the way they behave, the way they speak to people. Sometimes when a guy talks to you, you know, for example, when some man talks to me, sometimes that's all he knows how to say. So I understand that. I forgive that. I don't get upset or at least I try not to because I, one thing is that really helped me is I read a book and it's called the four agreements. And one of the agreements is that you have an agreement with yourself is Don't take anything personal because if you think about it, it really isn't. If a guy's telling me I should have sex with him and he wants to pay me, that's just the way he is. He probably does it to people all the time. That's just the way he is. So I can't take it personal. And even if something is personal, let it go because the biggest thing that I've found in my life is letting things go. And because when I hold, what I hold on to hinders me and what you hold on to hinders you, you know, but back to the beats, you know, I just wanted to talk about beats and music and the way it relates to the way it relates to my life. And one of the things, okay, so I didn't feel worthy. So I didn't feel worthy of getting the wireless, uh, the Sony, the first pair of wireless headphones. I was so excited. Like, what is this? What's going on? But the people at Best Best Buy helped me. And the Sony, I love Sony as a brand. Um, their customer service is absolutely amazing. I have never had to call Beats, though. I have never had to call Apple about my Beats. And they've been so durable in COVID-19. But anyway, back to the... So when I first got the the, the Sony... It's like when you first... When you first spend money on something and you spend a lot more than you normally would spend... I had to invest in Sony... Sony um, the Sony wireless headphones because I knew that Sony was a good brand. It was pretty durable and things like that. And I've, I used to wear the ones, the, uh, the wired one over the ear with the wire and they were good. They were always, Sony was always good to me my entire life. But, um, so I had to, 
it was like, it's almost like I didn't want to buy them. Like with everything and health products or whatever it is, I never want to spend, and I know everybody's the same way. Everybody says the same thing too. What, very, not everybody, very few people, but any person that's been able to articulate it the way I do has said the same thing. I'm afraid I will like it too much and then I won't be able to afford it. I won't be able to keep it up. You know, I, I'm not the only one that has said that. So, and it, whether it applies to uh, food, drinks, any products that you're buying tangibly, and then you go back, but then when you go back to the cheap shit, you know, pardon my French, but when you go back to the cheap stuff, you know, it's not the same. You have to use it, uh, you know, keep buying. Like, I don't want to rip on Sony, but, man, their their product sucks, man. You know, those wireless beats are real big ones. They're heavy. They don't make the headband sturdy enough. And so, you know, it's pointless because I wait because that's what poor people do. You want to keep on spending time calling Sony. And, yeah, sure, they replace it, but then you got to wait. But I'm like... Damn it, I can't do this wireless, this wires no more, you know? I can't do these wires. Like, I'm wearing the wire right now and it's killing me. I got all this nasty energy going around, you know? And so, um, yeah, but you're afraid you don't want to keep it up. So, but so because of that, you know what happens? You're afraid of losing money. So, what happens is, like, you spend so much time trying to conserve it and try, so you try to, you know, pinch pennies and, and squeeze money out and, and call customer service and get them to do their job and you waste so much time. And you know what? You lose freedom. You lose your freedom, number one, and you also lose more money because instead of focusing on creating and earning money, you're losing more money and you're losing more freedom and you're losing more time where you could be creating. And, uh, I don't mean to, I hope you guys don't hear this as me yelling at you, but there's cars going by. And also I'm very passionate about this subject. I, I hate wasting time. I don't want you to waste time with your life. I want you to do what makes you happy. And even though I still sleep outside, I have learned a lot of things about money and I've learned a lot of things about business and life. And I really hope to pass this wisdom on to you, you know, because, and even if you don't, even if nobody listens to it, it's going to help me because I need to get this out there. So I'm really excited because yesterday Spotify announced that they, or excuse me, uh, Anchor announced a collaboration with Spotify, which is really cool because if you think about it, it's not just a collaboration with uh, Spotify and Anchor, which I'm using as my, uh, Anchor's the uh, platform I use to to uh, build my podcast. You know, I use this to produce my podcast. I, I record in Anchor and all that. So basically, uh, let me come back, actually, let me come back in a second and I'll tell you about that collaboration with Anchor and also Apple too. Anchor, Apple, and Spotify and the, how I'm going to put music. About buying beats or spending money on something that you're really, really passionate about, I just want you to understand that you will find the way. You, you can never really spend too much on something that you love. Something like music, something like my friend Zach, the pilot, he said he spends money on flying lessons. And it's really, it's painful to spend money on something that you don't really want or to spend money on something that doesn't work or something that you have to buy. But when it comes to something you're passionate about, like my friend Zach with his flying lessons or with me with my beats, you know, you really could never, or me and my business when I buy a microphone so I can perform on my TikTok live streams or, you know, buying a laptop or buying my Mustang money covers that I mail to people, you know, I love doing those things. I love buying paper and writing letters to my fans. I love those kind of things. I love to give. I'm a giver. And to me, music is giving, even if it's just me listening to my music. And I'm giving those good vibes out to the world because I love singing, dancing, listening, learning through music. So never, ever think that you can't do anything. If you really want something, you'll find the way. And if you don't, you'll find an excuse. So don't find any excuses because you are worth it. You are infinite in value. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> my name is Liberty V. Justice. There's no period in my V because my victories never end and yours don't have to read them, my friends.
do a review if you like this podcast. Thank you so much.